To ensure a stable power supply in the country, Vice President Kashim Shetima emphasizes the commitment of the federal government to collaborate with state governments. This partnership aims to facilitate an improvement in the participation of state governments in the electricity market as mandated by law. Details in this report. To ensure consistent power supply in the country, Vice President Kashim Shetima highlights the commitment of the federal government to collaborate with the states. This partnership aims to facilitate an improvement in the involvement of the state government in electricity supply as mandated by law. Representing the Vice President at the Interactive Dialogue, his Special Advisor on Power Infrastructure, Engineer Sadiq Wanka, emphasizes the need for a new structure that prioritizes creating a favorable environment at the state and wholesale market levels. In Nigeria, there is widespread recognition that we are underperforming across all four pillars of providing electricity supply that is reliable, affordable, environmentally sustainable, and available to all Nigerians. Indeed, by some estimates, less than 20% of Nigerians have access to reliable energy of more than 12 hours per day. 45% of Nigerians have no access to any form of electricity, and as a result, Households and industry have been dependent on self-generation that is both more expensive and more polluting. During the opening of the dialogue, the Speaker of the House, Tajuddin Abbas, suggests looking toward global best practices and successful models from other countries. He promises to sponsor a bill that will establish administrative procedures for proper consultation and legislative review of tariff setting. Historically, the Nigerian power sector has grappled with challenges that have stifled its growth and hampered its efficiency. These challenges include inadequate generation capacity, dilapidated infrastructure, as was rightly mentioned by the Right Honorable Chairman, uh, Minister, frequent disruptions in power supply and financial inefficiencies that have eroded the sector's viability. Chairman of the Senate Committee on Power, Senator A. Naya Abaribe, and his House counterpart, Victor Mokolo, expressed their concerns about the inadequate state of the power sector despite privatization. That there's an aspect of the Constitution that says that you cannot do anything if you don't come back. And then we said, okay, fine. And we amended the law. And then we have the Electricity Act 2023 which gives everybody the right to now go in and invest in that sector. And I think where we are today is that having amended that law, having given the states the power, having given anybody who can invest to really come in, and then we now have a multi-tier electricity market. I think the first step within the multi-tier electricity is what we are coming to do here today. So it has become necessary for stakeholders to address the envisaged challenges, which is shown by challenges facing NICE and to chart a course for seamless transition to a multi tier electricity market in Nigeria. We are all aware that no legislation is perfect until it is put into operation. On this note, I want to honestly appeal to everybody to come with a clear mind for us to receive feedback on where we are and where we are to go. In his remarks, Minister of Power Adebayo Adelabu attributes the energy deficit across the country to insufficient financing and inadequate gas supply. Stakeholders also voiced their concerns about the growing number of private investors exiting the sector. Let me talk about the CMS project and the TCN all completed project to fix transmission and the distribution infrastructures. We have over a hundred all completed transmission company project since 2001, a lot of them are 90 percent, 80% completion stages. But we need funds to ensure that we complete this project before we even move on to new ones. And unfortunately, for power projects, you cannot energize unless they are 100 percent completed. We are looking at acquisition of a SCADA, which is the supervisory as uh, the SCADA which is the the frequency management and supervisory control and data acquisition. The super big project, we are working on it, and uh, we are trying to acquire spinning reserves that will eliminate incessant heat collapse. A nation that has comparative advantage in gas, 
find it difficult to give gas to the power station, and we're all expecting El Dorado, it's not going to happen. The gas suppliers are not developing any new fuels. So how are you going to get the gas? I have power plants in River State that are hydro today, not because of machine unavailability, it's because of gas. I've not had gas in a power plant for three months. And here I am standing, nobody is telling me how they are going to support me to get the gas for a nation that has gas in abundance. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.